hey y'all welcome back to my channel and we back with another video all right so today i'm gonna show y'all how i make my waist beads i make them on my own i don't Um, so I make them on my own. I don't buy them from anybody because it's actually very freaking easy to make some. Um, if it's your first time making them, it might take you anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour depending on exactly how long you need your waist beads to be. Um, this one right here is actually one of the very first ones that I made. This one is on a stretch cord. Not a fan of the stretch cord for me personally. Um, I might see, I need to go back and re-thread this one and put it on a regular cord i just haven't done it yet um i also have this one this one is also on a stretch cord it needs to be put on a regular cord i do i don't tie mine on so mine are have the lobster claw that i put on them um and then I have this one. These ones are really small beads, so I don't. These are beads I actually ordered off of Amazon. I didn't like these ones. Um, but yeah, I still have that one. And then this is one of my more recent ones. This one is on a normal cotton thread. Um, I had an all black pair, but I popped it. So it's time for um, a couple new ones. So to make your waist beads, you need just a few things. You need string of some kind um this is stretch cord that i got from dollar tree you can use this um this is the elastic stretch cord that the other that the first couple are on came from this one came from hobby Lobby, but they also sell it at michael's and then this is the actual thread that i use like this one is not stretched it is just simple white thread. Um, you can also use sewing thread as long as it is the nylon sewing thread um, because it can get wet. But this is just how this looks. It's the dandelion super strong beading thread. Um, this is 0 0.008 and 0.2 mm. Um, so I just use this and I triple it up a few times. And this is the thread I use. Um, you need your beads. Glass beads are the best because they don't um, wear out wear off if you wear them in the excuse me if you wear them in the shower. I don't personally wear mine in the shower, um, but if you did want to, you can. Um, so you need your beads. These are beads that I got from Michaels. So you know, just any kind of glass beads. The tag. If it'll focus, just says glass beads right there. Um, these are just some of the ones that I have. I have a ton of beads, actually. So, I mean, you can do any of them. Michaels tends to usually have their beads on sale. These ones are white spark like your destined sparkly but you can't really see it because of my ring light um but just some plain old white joints then this is my big boy of beads i'm not going to open it because i don't want any of these beads to fall out of here um but yeah this container came from walmart but i have all different color beads up in here these came from Hobby Lobby. So these are the beads that were left in here. I also put in here my lobster claws and the little hook to clasp it. Um, so I needed somewhere to put these once I opened it. And then these are just some that I got from TJ Maxx. So I'm gonna make a pink pair today because I'm feeling pinky. Um, so I think I'm gonna use these for the beads today. And then you don't need this, but um, I do greatly recommend getting these. Um, these are collapsible. Collapsible. 
collapsible threading needles when you're using like the string that i use and um, because you're tripling up a few times it's going to be harder to get the beads through it so this is collapsible i think you can see it there we go um so it has the opening there and then this is the actual needle that the bead will just slide on and this part collapses and gets skinny once the actual bead threads on it um, so i did get these from michael's um you're gonna need this just get some i think it comes in a pack of four and the last thing that i have um you don't necessarily need this this is a it's called the GS Hypo Bead String Glue. Um, and this by Beadaline, this is actually what the packaging looks like. Um, I kept it for the purpose of this video. That's why I kept the packaging so you can see it. Um, but this is just the glue. Um, and I use this on the ends to secure the knots. You don't necessarily need this, but I use it around the lobster claw to make sure that the knots stay nice and tight and on these are the options uh, and these are like little charms that you can also add on um, I think I am going to put a charm on there today. I just have these that say faith. Okay, so the one thing that I didn't show, you will need to actually measure out your string. Um, I measure standing with my belly, you know, at its most fullness. I'm gonna take this off so you can see. don't want to suck it in because this thing that will not stretch um, and I want to leave some room for me to tie it and I'm actually going to cut this so I'm just going to duplicate the string a few more times And this is why I leave extra room so that I can have enough room to tie these things. Here, I'm gonna take a dollop of the glue um, just to make sure that the knot itself is secure. So I'm just gonna do it over the towel.
these are the beads I'm using with this openness and pour them in here. It's going to be easier. Okay, so this that is going to be good. So what we do is just come down to the other end. And we're going to use the collapsible needle. And we're going to just thread the strings through. You know, have a little bit on both sides. That way, you know, we can get the beads down it. And this makes it so much easier because all you're doing is now putting the beads on this part. So we just start threading. Because we are doing this by hand, it will take longer. You can always get like a um, little spinny, spinny bead threader. Um, but I don't have one of those. So I'm going to put the beads on here in no particular order. So they get on there and you see they stop right at the opening because this collapses you just slide them on down and it goes on down the thing and then you just keep threading i'm just gonna be quiet now and hyperlapse it until we get to the end Get that, 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 get that,
This is where we are. A little charm. I actually meant to slide on here while um, when we got halfway through, but I forgot about it that quick. So before I close this off and add the lobster claw on the end, I'm gonna go ahead and put this on here in the middle. I'm gonna have to open the top piece. And I got this charm in particular from um, Michaels. Yeah, so I meant to slide it on with this top piece, but since I didn't, now I have to open it um, and put it on in the middle. So just make sure that you're paying attention. Um, that way you don't get like me and forget. I'm gonna do this to determine about the middle. It's about right here. -ish. I did that just so I can have room to open it up here and have room to put this around it. Make sure you have a good grip. You open it, pick it up, put that in the middle, and then you just close it back. I'm gonna add the last few beads on here and then the lobster claw and it'll be done. And I think at this moment I have the perfect amount of beads on mine. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna slide the lobster claw in here so that we can tie this close. One knot, and then we're gonna tie a second knot. And I kept this on here to make my knot tying a little bit easier. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and tie the second knot. And 
then I'm gonna do one more just to be on the safe side. And we can go ahead and take off this. Make sure it's nice and tight. And we're just gonna make sure it's nice and secure. Let that dry a few minutes before before we cut off the excess string. Okay, so all in all, um, it took me about 35 minutes to make. This is the finished string. It has a little charm on it that says fade. Um, but like I was saying, with this, if I had have been paying attention and slid it on when I was about halfway through, I would not have had to open it, open the jump ring to put it on. It would have just, you know, been on here. Um, but we have it on here. We have the clasp on both ends. Um, and yeah. I always put mine on backwards to make sure. I always put mine on backwards to make sure that I have it clasped okay. Because it is just a lobster lobster hook eye closure, it just goes on. I suck it in, twist it around, and there we have it. And it has the faith charm. Um, I did actually make this one a little bit bigger than I had wanted it to, but it drapes down. Um, and I'll put my other one on so you can see it with multiple. This one does not have a charm. Uh, when I put these on, I always just suck it in, clasp it, and twist it. See, I wanted it to be a little tighter like this one, but it's okay. I made it just a little too big. Yeah, wasties. And I'm gonna make me, I think, another black one to fall like in the middle of these two. Um, but for me, because I am actually, um, I have lordosis, so it's just the coverage of my lower spine. Um, mine fall right into that. Um, so I typically measure from here around. Um, and yeah, this is how what I'll be using to keep track of my weight loss so i'm gonna keep both of these on um i'm gonna put them inside of my shirt but yeah those are that um make sure you do stay tuned my air just kicked on sorry um make sure you stay tuned because i did place an order to she in for some new workout clothes so I will have a try on haul coming for that. I bought some shirts, some shorts, and some sports bras. So I'm really curious to see how the sports bras fit because most of my sports bras are from Victoria's Secret and or Sam's Club. Um, so I'm interested to see how the ones machine fit um, as, well as, the rest of their, uh, as well as the rest of their clothes because I've never ordered from them. Um, so that'll be coming soon. The items have shipped, so they're supposed to be here, I think, next week. Um, so, yeah, make sure that you, if you enjoyed this video, make sure that you like um, and comment down below. Let me know that you enjoyed it. Um, be sure to subscribe if you're not, because 
we're trying to grow over here so make sure you hit the subscribe button like and comment down below and i will see y'all in the next oh and this makeup look i'm not sure if it's going up before or after this but if it's not already up it'll be up next um so yeah make sure you know you come back stay tuned turn on the bell so that you're notified when i do upload the next video and i'll see y'all in the next one peace